What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how I have my PS5 set up with the Elgato 460 Pro. Let's go! First things first, you need a couple things. Obviously your PS5, two monitors, one for your PC and one for your, your console. Your streaming PC with the Elgato 4K 60 Pro installed. Two PS5 controllers. I'll explain to you why. Two HDMIs. Those will be included in the Elgato and the PS5. And a Chat Link Pro. The Chat Link Pro is actually a pretty important thing. But first, you're gonna need, you're gonna need to do a couple of things in your PS5 settings. You're gonna go into the system settings. Go down to HDMI and disable HDCP. Once you disable this, you're going to be able to, to get the video feedback into your PC. So once that is all completed, go to the download links on the Elgato.com and download your 4K Pro application. And at the same time, you could go and download your streaming software, OBS or Streamlabs, whichever one you're using. And the Elgato.com website, just click on the 4K Pro, click on your PC that you're using, and just click download. Once that's complete, it's going to install all the updates and software that you need. So next thing is installing your Elgato 4K60. It's very simple. It's like installing a graphics card. It's not that di very difficult. They have some very detailed description in the box. So once you follow that, move on to the next step. Now here, you're going to have both HDMIs connected to your PC that's inserted into the Godel capture card. The left one's going to go, HDMI is going to go into your PS5, and the right out is going to go into your monitor of choice. Next, you're going to get your chat link pro, get the mail side that has one input and insert that into your audio port in your PC, which is the blue circle. Now, your this is where your two PS5 controllers come in handy. OK. Let me explain this. Your second PS5 controller is going to be the one that's going to grab all your audio feedback. If you don't mind, you know, running the cords, then you could run it the way I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so this method is basically just running it with wires. If you don't want to run your controller or your headset wirelessly, just run it this way. Number three goes into the back of the PC like I just showed you. The number two end goes into your PS5 controller. And the number one end, you just have to have an extra auxiliary cord that goes into your headset. <clears throat> Once this is done, you just have to do one change into the OBS system to get the actual audio feedback from your from your PS5 to your PC so your stream can hear it, and then you're done. Okay, so if you want to run your PS5 controller and headset wirelessly, you're going to have to get that second PS5 controller connected on the side with that Chatlink Pro, have a, an extra USB-C just to have it charged because it's going to be on and just leave it there. I'll explain to you how to set up through all the audio through the OBS. All right. So now once that all is completed, I'm going to go through some little OBS settings. Okay. It's going to be very simple. So what you're going to do first is on your left side where it says scenes on the bottom left corner, you're going to create a scene, which is going to be your whole video capture and your mic and everything that's going to be in there. Okay. You can create a scene. You can name it whatever you want. Once you go into that scene, you're going to click on that sources plus. Once you click on the sources, it's going to give you an option of to choose the Elgato 4K60 Pro. It's going to give you the picture. All you're going to need is to adjust it because it is 4K, so it's going to expand it a lot. Just adjust it to the box. Second, you're going to go back again to the sources and click on the plus sign and create your audio output device, which is the line in. Okay, line in. 
once that's created, it's basically going to get all the audio feedback from the second PS5 controller that's connected into your Chatlink Pro. And then from there, you could just start, you know, playing with the OBS settings. So you could put in your speakers, your 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 mic that you use, your camera, etc. You got this all set up. Here comes the tricky part. As you can hear, the audio is coming through the HDMI, which is coming through the P through the actual television. Once you start this, you want to get the actual OBS to get all the audio. You're gonna to have to turn on your second controller on, which has the Chatlink Pro connected to. As you can see, the audio input capture does is not. There's no feedback on it. There's no audio on it. So once you turn this on, it's gonna prompt you to this this um controller screen where it's going to ask you what account do you want to use that second controller on what you're going to do is there's two options you could create a dummy account and just have no email link to it or create an actual account with an email link to it that being said the reason for is if you if you're playing with your buddies online and you want to get their audio through the controller you're going to have to log into that account with an email and create a chat room and invite them all in to get that audio because it's connected to the chat link pro which is going to get all the audio it's going to get all the voice chat and the chat room all into the obs system so that's the best way of doing it just create a second account and running that second controller through that account so you get all the audio through it and you could run you know all your um your controllers and wireless heads wirelessly without having to have any wires anywhere so you're gonna have to create a second account once you choose that account on your second ps5 controllers you can see there i'm gonna sign to this second account that i have if you look back to the obs yeah, now you're going to see the audio input capture device. It has all the audio going into that. And then you're done. That's it. That's the whole process. So there you have it. That's a very simple and quick tutorial of how I have my PS5 set up to my PC and, and my OBS during streams. So if you have any questions, hit me up, man. Deuces.